white and white shirts and we join it in the first half. Play going on with the throw. It's Case who can certainly fire the bin and he wasn't far away then, Jimmy Case. So often this player has scored from that kind of range. And he really blasted that one in. Remember that famous goal that he scored in the semi-final of the FA Cup for Brighton three years back. Conqueror with a header on. Straight to Hinchelwood. Free kick there given to Southampton. I think for the challenge there on uh, Clint Cockerell. Millwall pulling just about everybody back here. Only Fashion who is forward and he's still inside his own half. Holmes the sweeper. Here's Baker. Kick there for Wallace. He couldn't get away from Hinchelwood. He's certainly been looking to step tight on Wallace in that kind of situation. Moran. Crowded out there though. Plenty of urgency about Millwall in these opening stages. They're on the defensive at the moment. There for Moran, who got the flick on, but good save by the goalkeeper as Cockerell came in. And two of the Millwall players angry about the uh, challenge from Cockerell. It was flicked on there by Moran, and the goalkeeper had to get down extremely quickly there before Cockerell came in. To Stevens. Now for Fashionu. Good tackle though from Bond. Now Fashionu. Good play initially there from Walker. Otto Lukowski. He's beaten short. And Southampton got it clear. And the defence was fully stretched there. And Southampton very nearly conceded the opening goal. The deck now is really coming to life. Fashionu. Come on! Normal fans will certainly be taking heart from that. So far, they've come close to scoring on a couple of occasions now. Will Walk. Armstrong. Off goes Wallace. Chance to show his acceleration here. But it was sound defensive play by Stevens. Wallace couldn't get clear for all his pace. And it can at times be blistering pace. Case. Well, it was good skill then from Jimmy Case. Proved a real bargain buy from Brighton. Just £25,000 he cost. McCleary with the clearance. Jimmy Case, who's played in cup finals, of course, for Liverpool and for Brighton. Now Armstrong's a chance. Oh! I think the whistle may already have gone. Beautifully struck, though, by Armstrong. No, in fact, uh, it would have counted. Armstrong with the shot, and it rebounds off the post. Fashionu. Here's Dennis. Case going in, straight into Briley. Now Cockerell. Wallace. Cockerell went down. That'll be another four shot this time for Briley. Les Briley, the Millwall captain. Another untidy challenge on Glenn Cockerell. Cockerell who knocked the first ball down there, and you can see Briley really going in late. So a third name goes in the notebook. This time it's that of Les Briley. There's the three-man wall. Dennis with the cross in. Back for Baker. Well, I was asking him before the game if he'd ever scored a senior goal for Southampton. He just smiled and said no. But he uh, might have fancied his chances there. Certainly got his shot in well. 
It went through that sea of players there, but safely into the goalkeeper's arms. Well, a great result for Millwall. It finished nil-nil. Amazing to think, though, that these two clubs have now gone five hours in the Milk Cup and now the FA Cup without so much as scoring a goal. There were certainly plenty of free kicks at the Dell today, though. 68 in all in 90 minutes of football. Sad to say there was also a bit of crowd trouble. In all, there were 20 arrests. The Southampton defender, Mark Dennis, was taken to hospital after the game with a cheekbone injury following a collision with Millwall's Keith Stevens.